Hey Cyclone Fanatics, Chris Williams here with Austin or Not. It's part one of a 12-part series that we're going to be doing here over the next few months at CycloneFanatic.com. We're going to take an in-depth look at Iowa State's opponents for the 2012 season. Now, just the other day, Jackson, our, our new intern, wrote a preview on the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, and that's what Austin and I are going to talk about here today. And Austin, you know, I guess I remembered when... Cody Green, the former Nebraska quarterback, transferred to Tulsa, but I had forgotten about it until I read Jackson's article, and I've been reading some of these uh, preview magazines here over the over the last few days talking about Tulsa. Yep. That's a, I mean, that's a guy who started the game in Jack Trice Stadium. Cody Green, the only quarterback since Tommy Frazier in 1992 that's a freshman to start a game at Nebraska. So he he's not Tommy Frazier, obviously, <laughs> but to start a game as a freshman at, at Nebraska and to be in that kind of company, he's got a lot of talent. He's a guy you've played against. What, what do you think about him? Um, yeah, you know, playing against him, he is a quarterback. He didn't do much when we played against him. I mean, it was the Rex Burkhead show, mm -hmm. names. But, you know, he's a high, he was a highly touted kid out of high school, uh, a very good football player, a kid who transfers to Tulsa, who's you know instantly after GJ Kenny leaves, their their quarterback they had the last three years is going to be instantly a starter. I looked at, I did some homework, looked at their um, their depth chart, and he's mm -hmm. number one uh, guaranteed. And also, what's what's interesting is a kid named Kerry Cooper, uh, another transfer from Nebraska who just finished up his uh, undergrad degree, is going to start doing his uh, to obtain his master's at Tulsa. So I think he'll be eligible to play this year. So two Nebraska kids that I played in the past that are heading to Tulsa to play uh, Conference USA football. Well, it, it, here's the deal, too, with Cody Green. Tulsa loses three starters on the offensive line along with the quarterback, but they bring back two really good running backs. One of them, uh, Watts is his name, Trey Watts, potentially an all-conference USA guy. Uh, two wide receivers who caught over 850 yards yep. a year ago. He's got a lot of weapons around him. Now, replacing the quarterback is a very difficult thing to do, but when you can plug in those type of guys, it makes your job a lot easier. Right. This team will be a very good Conference USA football team. Um, needless to say, it's going to be a very tough challenge for Iowa State to uh, beat these guys. And especially first game of the year, you have your first your pre -game jitter, your, your first year jitters. Um, and interesting what you said about Watts. He had almost 900 yards rushing, but only three touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Only three touchdowns. And you, you think that, and a lot of that has to do with the way their offense is structured. They throw the ball a ton. They were like third in the, in the Conference USA last year in efficiency behind Southern Miss and Houston, I believe. So they're a team that can move the football. And with Cody Green and having the ability, you know, someone who can run and throw the ball from the quarterback position, it makes them that much more dangerous. G.J. Kenny was a great player for them, who is now with the New York Jets. But Cody Green brings a different element in running the football with a big, talented kid who – I'm not going to lie, this, this is a scary football team to play game one. Yeah, I think it is too. And when you, when you look at Iowa State, obviously the talk is quarterback, so you, you obviously want to look at Tulsa's defense. Dexter McCoy, uh, a safety, he's an NFL prospect yeah. right now. They, they've got some solid guys on the defensive line. Uh, I agree. You know, I, I'll be honest with you, I was um, – you know, I, you don't like seeing Tulsa for your opener. Right. But I, I knew that they were losing their quarterback. I knew there were some questions. The more research I do about this game, the more concerned I get from an Iowa State standpoint. Uh, history favors Iowa State. Tulsa's 1-17 against BCS teams on the road. Um, these two teams have played one time. That was back in 1961. Iowa State defeated Tulsa by a 27-6 final. But nonetheless... Um, I mean, what's it like as a player, though? When you, you know, when you play this football team, we, we talked about this before we started recording. We talked about when you guys went into Toledo uh, a few years back, and uh, Iowa State's going to Toledo, the home on homes with Tulsa, Toledo, and San Jose State from now until 2017. To this team, this is—I uh, don't want to say the, their Super Bowl, but this is a pretty. Pretty darn big game for, for exactly. Tulsa in, in the next couple of years. I mean, do you feel that when you play these non-BCS teams, a little chip on the shoulder type deal? Yeah, they definitely will have a chip, in their, chip on their shoulder coming in. You look at, uh, you know, like you said, the Toledo game and games of that nature, those guys treat it like it's their everything. And this is a Big 12 opponent um, with, with, you know, considerably, uh, you know, matchup-wise on, on the scale of, you know, Location, they're right on the road. They're in mm -hmm. Tulsa, Oklahoma. A lot of these kids will know each other um, from playing football in Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, 
it's just for, for them this game's going to be huge. And, and equally it'll be big for Iowa State. There's no way that the Cyclones are going to overlook this team. Coach Rhodes will have them ready to, you know, grind and work all summer f- to prepare for this game. But in no means uh, is Iowa State going to overlook this opponent. I think Tulsa's going to be very good. And you talked about um, their defense is very good. The, the McCoy kid's very good. They have a linebacker who had over 100, like 160 tackles last year, led the Conference USA. Um, they're, they're, they're very similar to Iowa State on, on, on defense. They have a good, strong linebacking core and, you know, good safeties. So, it's a very comparable matchup, and it seems like we're always talking about that when we play somebody else, how, how good their defense is, and mm-hmm. that's something that we've got to be ready. Coach Messingham and, and whoever's going to play quarterback, Steele or JB, has got to be ready for you know an attacking defense who's going to throw some junk at you. You either play Northern Iowa in this opener or a team like Tulsa or Toledo, because Northern Iowa, uh, that game's scary for obvious reasons, <clears throat> and what, what we saw last year. Uh, but this one, equally better by all means, better football player. I think if it's this year, I'd rather play you and I first. Really? I okay. think I think this Tulsa team is, you know, they were they were a seven and one team in the conference last year, eight and five overall. If you look at the way they played Conference USA, they only lost they had was to Houston. So you lose your quarterback, like you said, you lose three linemen, uh, you lose a pretty good defensive end, and I think his name is Tyron Walker, mm-hmm. eight sacks last year, but. You don't lose a lot of pieces. You lose small. You lose small on pieces, but good pieces. Mm-hmm. So if they're able to fill in the, the blanks, they'll be a very good team in Conference USA. And, and Iowa State better be geared up and ready once September rolls around for this team. Well, by all means, you know, looking at preview magazines, uh, Tulsa's being picked to not really win Conference USA. I haven't seen yet, but they, everybody expects them to be Your right favorite. in the ballpark. Yeah. So September first. Don't know a kickoff time yet, but but get ready. It should be an interesting season opener for the Cyclones. We'll be doing this over the next few weeks. With, with every game on the Iowa State football schedule. Jackson going to be writing previews as well. We're counting down to kickoff here at CycloneFanatic.com.